peaceful out here. I come out here to meditate, free my mind, talk to God, journal, pray, and get as much of the word as I can. The back of my truck, it's got clean clothes, a toilet, my bed, my word. Nothing to eat. I got to go get something to eat. But other than that, it's what it is right now until I get something better. And that's what I work for every day. Lately, work has been hard because all these other things have been on my mind. I've been bombarded with a whole bunch of new stuff that I'm hearing about and I'm broken hearted and I feel like I'm just breaking into a million pieces, but I can't fold like that because I was on a path to something better. I don't want to hurt anybody. But I feel like now that I got to start thinking about me. I have to think about me. And I have to trust more in God because the more you trust in people, they disappoint you. I've been getting bombarded and ridiculed for things that I didn't know nothing about. I can't take no more hardship blows. I have to focus now on me and my health and what's good for me. The only person that won't abandon me or change on me is God. So I took this time today to meditate in the word and just get a peace of mind and relax. And I'm a, I'm going to get me better and I'm going to get what I need and I'm going to focus on that. It's not going to happen overnight. But it's going to happen. Amen. All these things I ask in Jesus' name. Give yourself fully to the adventure of today. Walk boldly along the path of life, relying on your ever-present companion. You have every reason to be confident because my presence accompanies you all the days of your life and onward into eternity. Do not give in to fear or worry. Those robbers of abundant living Trust me enough to face problems as they come rather than trying to anticipate them. Fix your eyes on me, the author and the perfecter of your faith, and many difficulties on the road ahead will vanish before you reach them. Whenever you start to feel afraid, remember that I am holding you by your right hand. Nothing can separate you from my presence. We're, we're now acceptable to the Father because Jesus took upon himself the vengeance of God for our sins. The Spirit of the Lord was upon him because God had anointed him to preach the gospel and the acceptance of God means that we can live forever. May the Spirit of the same Lord be upon us to preach the same wonderful gospel, to take this wonderful good news to the lost and dying. Do I tremble at the holiness of God and the contrasting sinfulness of mankind? Am I motivated by this revelation? Father, may I forever say with the Apostle Paul, thanks be to God for the unspeakable gift. If there was ever a presumptuous remark, this was it. The light of the word. Jesus applied the Holy Scriptures to himself. He was only a simple man whose father was known by most of the synagogues in Nazareth, probably as a common carpenter. And yet Jesus claimed to be the promised one, the Messiah, the blessed one of God. 
However, if people had believed the sacred writings, they would have known that Jesus was indeed fulfilling prophecy by his virgin birth and by his impeccable, sinless life. Instead, they were repelled by his gracious words and tried to kill him for what they perceived to be blasphemy. He came to his own, and his own received him, not what a terrible tragedy, 